Here's my family's first aid kit. It lives in the boot of the car. Uh, we're going to go through it and show you what's inside it. So this is what it looks like when it's fully opened up. It has a few different compartments, quite a few zips, and actually you can see here, still quite a bit more space where I could add some more additions to it, but pretty much this is, is that my thought? Go. Zip it. This is uh, pretty much all I keep. Keep in mind it's my wife, and my two daughters, so it's pretty much scaled for a family of four, really. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove everything out from the, the bag, but I'm gonna talk you through it. Then at the end, I'm gonna have it all laid on the table so you have a sort of understanding of the scale of kit that I actually keep in my, uh, my first aid bag. Start off with, let's go for the middle pooch. I carry standardized uh, pocket tissues, i.e. toilet paper. Standard antiseptic wipes and some also some wet wipes. An array of plasters. More plasters. Box under tape. And the way I look at it as well, have some sweets to uh, Try and keep the kids' attention off of what you're doing. They need to get patched up or definitely a bit down in the dumps. Next, I've got here some uh, burn gel. It's mainly for the wife, not me, but it's paracetamol. Some uh, bite cream. Good old um, uh, fluid replacement sashes. The obvious, and Brufen, and my new found favorite, spray on plaster. And here, if they decide to stay down, gloves, deep heat rub. set the cream deep freeze cream got here standard lip balm scissors safety pins nail clippers tweezers and mainly for me really a good selection of compete blister packs what I have over here as well is the world's allocation of plasters to be honest uh, a bit overkill with the plaster kit plus the fact that I mainly cut myself like hell on a weekly basis but the main stuff I have is Good selection of bandages. See here. Hopefully, now we have to use your pirate patch, but there it is, and a bit of glue. Standard um, sanitizing gel. Sling, and I think, yeah. Last but not least, I'm not going to remove all the types of plastics, but you can see here, quite a few individual plasters Good to uh, good to go in case anybody the family gets cut or gets hurt. This is what it looks like from above. Not like I'm from a bird's eye view, but <laughs> from above. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is that at the back of the pack. I carry a standard uh, space blanket, stroke survival blanket. 
God forbid I have to ever use it with my family, they'd probably die if they had to deploy that. So, in a nutshell, it's a basic um, vehicle kit. It works for me. Um, I'm a family of four. We travel quite a bit, and so far I haven't had any massive dramas. Total cost of all this, it's cost us around about, give or take, a £30 mark, um, which I think is acceptable. Instead of paying a fortune online, this works for me, and it's good to go. So, catch you later. Thank you.